guys need any grinding done, such as the Draft Reward, Moses Malone, Unlimited, Michael Finley, the GOAT, Fernando, out of Clutch Time, or even the Level 40 Ant-Man, look no further than hitting up my guy, Cliff2 underscore 3 on Twitter. You is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be doing another squad builder and this squad or squad builder is gonna be if you do have 500,000 MT now I tried making these pretty different, okay? So you are gonna see a lot of different players in this compared to the 100K squad better. But a lot of the budget cards, such as like a Denny, he's gonna be on both squads because I think he might be even a top 10 point guard in the game and by far and away the best, best budget point guard in the game. So he's gonna be on both squads. But did try to make these pretty different. So make sure you go watch that other squad builder as well to get some different ideas and maybe see what cards might fit you better. Now, before we dive any further into this video today, guys, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 100,000 subscribers. Start it off, guys. Look, guys. Do, do you even want me to talk about him? I feel like I don't use him as much because obviously Drew's a new card and I'm just tired of using Denny because, I mean, it's the same old, same old. I know what I'm getting. Just one of the best budget point guards in the entire game. But he's 6'9", can hold it down, can guard 1 through 4 at least. Just such a good card in my team. But I'm not going to spend too much time on him. Moving on to the shooting guard position. My shooting guard on my no money spent squad series, Iso Joe. Now... You guys might be like, Ty, you like ISO Joe this much? Yes, I do. 60,000 MT. Again, he made my top 10 shooting guard list. Just can do it all, man. Again, I, I can just show you my Joe Johnson in my squad. 6'7", 240 pounds, 97. A three ball, good driving, 94 ball handle defensively. I know with the 92 in tier, he's not getting mashed at 6'7". Badge wise, minus 34 Hall of Famers, that extra Hall of Fame badge is a useless one. But even with 33 base Hall of Famers and 40 on gold, the card doesn't need anything applied to him. And I think that's so important with these squad builders is that we get cards and we don't have to apply, you know, we don't have to spend 100 to 200K applying badges. They're already complete. And that's what makes Joe Johnson so elite in my team. Now, surprise, surprise, guys. Coming in here at the small forward position is Bobby Jones. 6'9", 210 pounds, 87, 3 ball, 95 driving, dug, 90 ball handle. The single, one of the single best defensive players in the game. Okay, I know, okay, if you guys, you guys might have got him for free, and if you did, awesome, man. You got one of the best, if not the single best small forward in the game. That's how high I am on Bobby Jones. I love his dribbling. I love his release. Has every defensive badge in the game. Hall of Fame handles for days, quick first step, catch and shoot. What more does he need? Got low base on very quick, which is so chicken, it's crazy. What more does Bobby Jones need? I'll, I'll tell you firsthand, Bobby Jones doesn't need much else. He's going to be on my own money spent for the near future, and I'm in love with the card. You're seeing a lot of these cards on the no money spent. Continuing on with it in Nate Thurman. Now, Nate Thurman's like 60,000 MT. Bobby Jones, I think we'll check. Uh, again, I'm recording this earlier. You guys are going to see this later. So let's see how, how kind of prices have changed. Bobby Jones, I think, is going to be right around 80,000 MT, I do want to say. And Nate Thurman, yeah, Bobby Jones, a little less than 80K. Probably right now, right at 80K, a little less. Uh, and then you're looking at Thurman, right? Whose price does not reflect how good he is. Now, I don't know why he's so cheap. Maybe people don't like his low release point. That's the only thing I can think of for why not, why Nate Thurman is so cheap. I mean, whether you run and run him at power forward center, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, you can run him at either play, either position with who you guys are going to see at center. But man, for 60,000 MT, it's tough to beat Nate Thurman. Now, a card that did make the 100K squad builder as well is Jack Sigma, but deservedly so. Smooth release can hold it down to either the power forward or center position that we've kind of already went over and talked about. For 14,000 MT, you're not finding better than Jack Sigma. 6'11", smooth release, good three ball, ball handles, good defensively, very solid rebounding, speed, lateral quickness is there. And again, you don't have to worry about badging up the card, which is extremely, extremely valuable. So with the starters, guys, 
I'm trying to do some quick math here. You're probably looking at, you know, 220,000 MT with these uh, starters somewhere in there. Bench unit, I would plug in D'Angelo Russell, but I plugged him in in the other squad. So we got to make a little change and plug in Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. I think with D-Wade and D'Lo, it's preference between the two. D'Lo is obviously cheaper. D-Wade might be better, especially on current gen. Choose who you want. I mean, 21,000 MT for D-Wade. Who is 6'4 gives you everything on the court. I like his release, great speed, lateral quickness. He even has a decent interior at an 85 badge wise, pretty solid. 65 base badges in general. Card that came out a while ago in the bracket busters, you know, set, but is still good to this day. Another new card that was not in our last quad that we are plugging in here is P Spicy P and Pascal Siak. Am I as high on Pascal Siakam as a lot of people are? I mean, probably not, okay? That's that's just the truth. I'm probably not as high on Pascal Siakam as most people are. But one thing I do I, I do think about Pascal Siakam is I respect it, okay? I respect how good Spice V is. Now, he's going for over 60K. I, I, I feel like when I record videos is when I get my most snipes. So he's going for over 50K. See if I can't squeak this one out for like for like 45,000 MT and then just resell it. I mean, you never know what can happen. I'm obviously not going to get him. But if you can get one for a little cheaper, he's going to obviously, you know, be that much better bang for your bucks. 6'9", 230 pounds for 60,000 MT. 92, 3 ball, 90, standing, driving a good boy. And a defensive end of the court. That's what you're looking at for Spicy P. Wade's a little kind of small, so you do need some bigger guys on the court to make up for it. Spicy P can do exactly that. Release, maybe a little slow for my liking, but man, at this shooting guard position with him being 6'9", it's not that big of an issue. Small four position. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it with Hidu Turkoglu. I'm not sure if I should put Hidu in this, but I'm going to. Okay. His for the first thing about Hidu that you guys need to realize is he's good. Okay, that's that's the first thing you need to realize. The second thing is he's really good for his specific price. And as we keep going down in price. I get happier and happier to see it. 60,000 MT for Hidu Turklu. I feel like a lot of cards in my team are right around that 60,000 price point. Hidu Turklu is another one, but man, I did a gameplay with him and I love the card. I love this release. 610, I like his defense. I like his player model. I like everything about the card. And I like that he is 60,000 MT. 610, 96 three ball, 90 driving dunk, can good standing dunk again defensively, can hold it down. 70 base badges including Interceptor at 610, the card is nearly perfect. At this point, the difference between him and like an Invincible card is hardly anything. Power four position, he made my 100K squad. It's Danny Fair. 15,000 MT for a card this good is absolutely ridiculous. 97 three ball, good standing driving duck. Good player model, obviously good stats in there as well. So, I mean, so far guys, look, so far starters are about 220,000 in our bench right now. You're probably looking up at nearly 400,000, a little less than 400,000. So we basically have 100,000 MT for our center, okay? Now, if you look at the centers in my team right now, you got Taco, you got Yao. But there's one guy that I think you can get that can compete with all those. It's this guy right here in David Robinson. Now, it might come as a surprise that I'm plugging David Robinson in this, but look. He's not even very expensive anymore. 50,000 MT, 40,000 MT for David Robinson. Now, I, if I'm you, I'm spending more MT. I, I, that's why I save some because you want to spend some more. Get one that is completely badged up. Maybe find one with 23, 24, 25 Hall of Famers. This one's got 23 Hall of Famers. Find one like this. 7 one, 91, three ball, good standing, driving, dunk, defensively, absolutely elite in my team. Great badge wise as well. There's really no flaws in David Robinson. So yes, I spent you know 420 to 450 thousand MT. But again, you want to buy players badged up. So same thing with like Dwayne Wade. Same thing with a guy like Danny Ferry. Get these guys badged up so you don't have to worry about it. But if I have 500 thousand MT, those are the guys I'm plugging in the squad. So if you guys gave me 500 thousand MT today, this is the squad I would come out there with now. Pretty similar to my no money spent squad right now. But the problem is on my no money spent, you know, I got guys like Richard Jefferson. I got guys like Drew Holiday. Guys that, you know, can replace some of these guys. You could put RJ in there for Siakam. 
and all I can really say is get these free cards. Even Bobby Jones right now is available for free. Get these free cards, plug them in, and you can have some more MT in which you guys can spread elsewhere to maybe, you know, upgrade some different positions. But this is the squad that I came up with, and every one of these guys is really solid in my team. It's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.